In this episode, we are going to learn about the motion paths. So with using motion paths, you can create all sorts of uh, like um, move paths for, for non-playable characters or NPCs. I'm just going to show you the end result, what we are going to create in this one. So we will have this sphere which follows a path. And this pet can be created inside Blender, and I'm also going to show you how to create uh, it using NURB curves. So if you go to panda3d.org and click on the manual, or manual, and click on the programming with Panda3D, and you will find the documentation under the... under the... Uh, intervals section. So click on the intervals and it will expand this section and here you will find the, the motion paths. So just read through it if you want. Uh, but before I continue, um, as you can see I have three versions of Blender uh, installed on my machine. I have Blender 2.79b I have Blender 2.83.8, so uh, this is the version I'm going to use, and I also have Blender 2.91.2. So the Kergalims uh, Yabi exporter uh, only works with Blender 2.83, it doesn't work with Blender 2.9. But the second, the biggest problem is it looks like uh, Kergalim deleted his. Uh, GitHub account, so the so-called renewed uh, egg, Yabi egg exporter is no more accessible. So I went to GitHub and I was searching for Yabi, oops, Yabi, and unfortunately I, I couldn't find uh, Kergalim's Yabi exporter anymore, so it looks like he deleted his GitHub account and all his repositories. You can still find the ninth Yabi, which is for Blender 2.5, 2.6 and 2.7. And if I search for Kergalim, Kergalim and enter, as you can see we couldn't find any repositories matching Kergalim or any uh, accounts uh, for Kergalim. So he was deleted from GitHub or he deleted himself or his account from GitHub, I don't know, but unfortunately this is a, I think this is a big loss for the Panda3D community because uh, he made this uh, Yabi exporter for, for Blender 2.8 and uh, I used it and, and I was, uh, I pretty liked his exporter. Uh, I still have it installed, but uh, unfortunately it won't be updated in the future. So I'm just going to run Blender 2.8 and delete all of these. And I'm just going to show you how to create NURB curves. So Shift A and here Curve and NURB Curve and also align it to the view, so align view and enter the edit mode and here you can click on these on these handles and just press E to extrude and create all sorts of um, these curves. Go back to object mode and you will see the curve and you can just export it out using uh, the Yabi exporter uh, here, Panda3D egg. And uh, as I already uh, told you, unfortunately this exporter is no more accessible through GitHub. So one other option is go back to Blender 2.79 you can also search for it um, on Google and you can also download it from the blender.org and uh, use the old exporter which was which was from this ninth 
so this exporter and it also works uh, pretty well so okay now that we created this curve I'm just going to create a new f uh, open uh, this file don't save so I created this curve earlier and here it is in the edit mode and this will be the curve I'm going to use in this video so uh, you, you just have to select it go to file and export it as an as a panda 3d egg I already did this so I'm just going to um, just going to PyCharm and load this curve so here in PyCharm I just created a skeleton application so it just creates a window with a size of 1280 by 720 and also it shows the frame rate matter or the FPS and it loads these uh, config variables it creates uh, my game class which inherits from the show base uh, class it uh, calls the my games init method also the show basis init method and also just sets the background color for the window to pure black it uh, inst uh, I'm instantiating here a game object from the my game class and calling the game not run so it just creates this black window so the first thing uh, or the second thing <laughs> I'm going to do is uh, just load a model which will act as a as a light um, mesh or a light geometry and for this I'm just going to load uh, from the models that uh, slash misc that, that slash uh, sphere model which comes pre-installed with panda 3d so this is a library model you don't have to uh, download it or something like that this comes pre-installed with panda uh, so I'm just going to set its scale to 0 0.5 on all axis XYZ and also just reparent this model to the renderer so it will be visible now let me run it and move the camera back so this icosphere or sphere will be uh, as this will be moved on the path we just exported from blender okay this next thing I'm just going to move the camera a little bit back here after this line so X Y Z so I'm going to move back on the Y axis uh, which is uh, moves the camera uh, into the depth or, or so front and back so I'm just going to move the camera back a little bit for, so 80 units so now uh, this uh, sphere is a little bit further from the camera okay the next thing I'm just going to do I already copied the this file called curvy.egg and this is the curve I just nerve curve I just exported from blender 2.8 and I'm just going to load this file um, but first of all I'm going to import two I'm going to copy something from my second monitor and under the load PRC file data I'm going to copy here two imports so from from direct that direct util import the mo path or the motion path and from direct that interval that motion path interval import all although maybe I can just import um, no I'm, I'm just going to leave it as it is imports all and here I'm just going to create after this line uh, my oops my pet object using the mopet mopet that mopet or motion pet and you have to use it like this mopet that this is the model name and the mopet or the motion pet. I'm also going to use this object uh, that load file and load the curve I, I have here in this my models folder so my models my models and slash curvy curvy you don't have to add the dot egg extension 
And the second thing I'm just going to create here an interval. So my interval equals more pet interval. And uh, I'm going to give as a first argument it needs a motion pet. So here I'm going to add the my pet. The second argument will be the self that that light model light model. So this motion path interval will act on this light model. And I'm also going to give it a name. So name equals as a string uh, my my pet. Oops, I have caps lock. So my dash pet my pet interval. Ah, I'm going to leave it as just my pet. And also a duration. So duration, let's say eight seconds. And I'm just going to call the my interval that start method start. And if everything is okay, now we will have a moving um, this uh, sphere. Let me try this out. And now as you can see, it moves and it stops. So once again I'm just going to restart the application. It moves, it has its path and when it finishes the path it just stops. So if you want to loop it you can instead of calling the my interval that start we can call the my interval that uh, that loop method and this will loop uh, this uh, animation continuously or indefinitely when it's here it stops and starts over so you can s create all sorts of as I said, like moving uh, NPCs or enemies or something like that. So like patrolling enemies and this type of a stuff. Just for the sake of uh, make it a little bit look better, I'm just going to add the bloom filter for this, uh, for this sphere. So I'm just going to import from direct that filter, that common filters import common filters and also I'm just going to copy here two lines of code so filters equals common filters self that window and self that camera and uh, the field I'm also going to set the set bloom filter and the size will be medium and here I'm missing a closing parenthesis so now if I run it and uh, now this sphere uh, shines or it has this bloom effect it looks a little bit in, um, more interesting and I'm also going to just uh, show you one more thing before I finish this video so if you want to learn more about the NURB curves I strongly uh, suggest you to go to Google and search for NURB curves and open up the Wikipedia page. So NURB stands for Non-Uniform uh, Rational B-Spline and as you can see it uh, in this uh, Wikipedia page there is very good explanations and much more information than I will give you and it has all sorts of control points and knots, knot vectors and I don't know what else. So if you want to get these uh, informations or these data out from from these uh, where it is from this my pet or my curve, I should name it maybe my curve, not my pet, but I'm going to leave it as it is. Or just rename it my pet. Now oh, I'm going to rename it to my curve. My mm, curve. So my curve equals more pet. And uh, as I told you, you can also just uh, search or print out some information about not my pet but my curve. So my curve that XYZ NURBS curve that get knots which will return the number of knots. So let me see. 
as you can see it says it number of knots is 18 and here you can learn about knots uh, you can also do this for the for the my curve that xyz nerps curve that get order uh, so the get uh, cvs so my curve that xyz nerps curve that get num number of cvs and also just print out the my curve that xyz nerps curve that get knots and this will return some information if you are interested so the get number of knots is 18 get get order is 14 the get num cvs is i mean get order is 4 and get num cvs is 14 and the get knots will return this tuple of knots i'm not expert <laughs> On NURB curves so I don't understand what uh, I don't know what all these data's need but maybe there are some of you who knows more about NURB curves and uh, you are interested in in this data so you can print out these I only know that the number of CVs should be the uh, number of knots minus the get order so number of knots is 18 minus the uh, get order which is 4 and the num get cvs we return 14 so 18 minus 4 which is 14 uh, but that's all what i know about the nerve curves but um, you can as i as i said you you can use this for all sorts of interesting stuff and one more thing if you here when you create the interval you can give it the, a duration so i gave it uh, eight seconds if you give it like i don't know like two seconds now it will move much faster so it finishes the whole curve under uh, in two sec two seconds and if you take a look on the movement you will see that it is exactly this one it goes from like this it ends here and starts again I mean, maybe I can move it like like this one. Okay. So this is how you can use motion paths in Blender. I mean, using Blender, creating the motion paths uh, and uh, exporting these to egg files and loading in e those in, in Panda 3D and creating all sorts of movements.